Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Samantha. This is the Budget Mum UK. Today has been, not today, the last like a week of this video was what we might call a slight catastrophe because if I could go over budget, I've gone over budget. I've overspent, I've uh, not planned for things and it's gone rather wrong. Um, so basically what we're going to do is have a look at where I've overspent. Um, there's just different things that come up, but I, I think I think on the whole I've like balanced stuff out and like um, moved other things around. So it might be useful if you see how I've done that and my thought processes with that. So I thought I'd share. Um, so like going forward the week next week, so I've like combined two in one in this video. So I've done my my spends, but then also had to look at next the next week's budget because. Um, I had to draw back, I've had to pull it back. It means that the next week I've got a teeny tiny amount for spending, like probably the lowest I've had for a long, long, long time. But it's doable and, um, well, it's, it's going to have to be done basically. So yeah, uh, that's that. So we're going to have a look at that. The next thing I want to share with you is because by the time you're getting this video, because I've actually already filmed this like a week ago, uh, by the time you're getting this video, it's pretty much Black Friday. Uh, so I wanted to tell you about a Black Friday, Friday promo I've got going on, which is where if you spend £40 or more upwards on my store between now and the 30th of November midnight, I will also be including in your order a copy of the Christmas budget planner, the little planner thing. Uh, let me see where I put mine. Oh, here it is. Yes, the ultimate uh, Christmas planner is what's going to be included. So if you've already done an order this week, by the way, and your order has been £40 or more, you will have had one of these gifted anyway, because I'm nice like that. If your order is like £38.95 or 39 like, do you know what I mean? Like pennies away. I've still included one because I'm not like, you know, those stores where you must spend over £40 and you only spend £39.97, so you're not getting... Come on. Um, yeah, so you have one of these, so it's perfect just in time for you to start your budgeting and your Christmas planning as well. So um, it's got all the, the, the calendars in it. Oh. It's got the calendars in it. We've got um, space for your Christmas budget, your timeline, um, Christmas wish list, uh, the Christmas shopping, Christmas dinner, your elf on the shelf things, your movies, plans. It's just... It's chocker. It's going to make your Christmas much easier. So if you were thinking already of buying stuff anywhere on Etsy, this is my Black Friday offer, free for every £40 or over spend. And this is to also celebrate the launch of all the new products that are going to go live from today. I've got to get all my photos done, but they are going to go up from today. So hang fire, check it out. I think you're going to be pleasantly surprised. <laughs> right, and that is... Um, Everything, let's get stuck in and see what's been going on. Okay, so let's get stuck in. Right, so as I said, it was a mini bit of a disaster catastrophe and everything else with in terms of my budget this week. It was like balanced but not balancing. So I just stuck with the envelopes that they were originally delegated to. If I've overspent, I've overspent in that area. Mostly because I want to keep some of the change that I've got, use it for my challenges and other bits and bobs. So let's just see what actually went on over the last week or so. So on Friday, I did go out for a meal in the evening. And like I said, it should have been about, I reckon, 100 quid. I did do a TikTok on this one. And you were just quite everything comped. It was just insane. So the total bill, I ended up actually just saying I'll pay for the whole thing as a, as a kind of a birthday present. It was 24, nine, uh, sorry, 65, 24, 65 it came to. And then like... My friend just left the, the tip. It should be 65. So we left quite a generous tip because, like, after, like, the service was great. It was just that one unfortunate thing. So, yeah, that was a massive, massive bonus. And then we was going to go to Blackpool on Saturday. Didn't actually go in the day. It was just one of them days. I went on Sunday. But we did go out on Saturday evening. So there's this thing weather spoons and basically yeah if you haven't already checked out the group check it out i'll leave the link down below and yeah loads of freebies for us <laughs> that was really nice um i'm pretty sure my brother sent a round of drinks at one point just to try and fob us off and pretend it was like the, this thing but 
Anyway, still managed to spend 1780. Got some food as well while we were there. That wasn't too bad. 1780 was uh, another eating out. Then on Sunday, I ended up going to Blackpool, and this was another overspend because I only had, I think I had 20 quid. 20 quid in my um, like going out envelope thing, and it was 24 because it was worth me getting the peter rabbit and gruffalo rather than just one or the other because it wasn't much more different and i just thought it was worth it and to be fair alexandra had 20 pound at the beginning of the month i'd only spent 14 and i used the rest for challenges so i'm like it, it's uh, that's fair that's working out so um that, i think it was time for me wasn't it did i put it in time for me i'll just check because i'd sort of run out of yeah time for me things to put it in this is why i've got a new miscellaneous envelope coming up <laughs> time for me and then on the 13th we was going to go out oh well normally would do my, my shopping there but the weather was horrendous it was that you know that storm whatever her face was somebody so i just went forget it we're not going out we just literally stayed and hid and we just watched things blow down the street my entire bins went down the street which was fun so there's no spend day but it meant that my no spend day that i had planned in on tuesday just then didn't happen because I need to go and get my groceries basically. Um, get off. Uh, was not to confuse myself. And that was a massive overspend. Um, I'm going to start doing, if you're over on TikTok already, my shopping hauls just so you can see exactly what I've got, what I'm spending on there. I thought that you might find it useful. Definitely get over there. It's uh, quite fun over there. I'm just sort of finding my feet and everything else. But yeah, so I had £60, but shopping should be groceries, and I spent £75 and one pence. However, rather than putting it down as an overspent, I'm going to take an extra 15 quid out of next week's and it'll just sort of balance itself out because some of the things that I bought, it'll last me quite a while. It was worth me buying it then rather than leaving it another week, if that makes sense. So I'm not too fussed about that. So that was that one. And I've just realised that I didn't put in my petrol, which I wanted to get on friday as well i thought it was going to be more than this but it wasn't it was only 45 quid so well it's actually 45 pound and 2p because it rolled over just put 45 pound i'm not bothered with all the change i've just put a 15 quid back in the, the wallet i'm not messing around with 2p obviously i have to pay cash for that because uh it's at, a, at the petrol station and then i just sort of put it back so i think that was all of our oh no 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 i've got something else as well on Sunday, we got, got, got a little chippy tea, found a little cafe for Alexander, and they had a kid's meal. He had this massive fish, kid's fish and chips, and it was like 4 40 and I got a drink for a like quid. But like, he could have bought, he could buy the kid's meal for 4 40 or he could have bought a small fish, then paid separate for chips, £7.15 or something. I was like, there's no way he's going to eat the chips. Uh, so, and, he, and he, I didn't think he'd eat all the fish, but he actually did, so it was quite good, because... I've got um, a fish allergy, so I couldn't eat it anyway. <laughs> but yeah, that was pretty good. Yeah, I think that's now everything. Officially, actually, everything. So let's grab some colours and make it look pretty and stuff. And then we'll have a look at what change I've got. I want to do that. And then I'll just do next week's as well. I've been doing separate videos, but honestly, I haven't got lots of time to keep doing separate videos. So I'd rather get... I think this one video out on time for you so you can see that. So this week on groceries, I spent £75 and one pence. And oops, petrol, I spent £45 on the two feet. We had eaten out, which I did quite a bit of. And then also we had time for me. Find the right one. There you are. Oops. Time for me. For my black film. Um, for my friend's birthday present, rather than I was gonna give him this ten pound into his an envelope, but rather than do that, I just used it towards the um pay for his meal basically. So 
I was, I'd rather do that than just give them a tenner, so that was okay. So I've got that left over as well, which I can have a look at in a second. So let's pop all this into here to see what I actually, oh, actually spent. So time for me was 24. Groceries, 75 pence and one pence, was it? Yeah, 75 pence, one. Petrol was 45 or two. Eating out, now this one was a busy one, wasn't it? So we had 24.65, 17.80, plus 5.40, 47.85, 47.85, 47.85. Um, but then, like, I had that extra tenner that I used from his birthday. So even though it was there, so I'm going to put that down. Should I chase it? I'm going to chase this to 50. So that my eating out is just the, the change from that rather than anything else. Um, And then, what else did I have? Definitely got something else, haven't I? No, that's it. That's it. So look, it is like a really overspendy kind of... Kind of weak, but I'm going to colour these in because I like how pretty they are. Uh, so even though I've got an unbudgeted, because the way it's like absorbing, it's good. Well, it's going to get absorbed in. Apart from, like you know, if you've got an unbudgeted, as in just a whole thing that's on, but where it's like an anomaly, like as in going over, I'm just going to be leaving that on if that makes sense. Otherwise, typical as I just confuse myself. Groceries. me and eat it out I'll just do Holly and Alex as well over here beauty And I haven't made a miss. Have I made a miscellaneous? No, I've not made a miscellaneous label yet, so I'll just leave that one for now. Um, and this one was unbudgeted, wasn't it? Um, is that budget actual? Yeah, so that's what went in, isn't it? That's what's gone in, right? And let's see then how much change I've got left over. And I'll see if I remember to complete this this time because, um, first sort of want to be doing it really and keeping it on top of it, and then I'm going to have a look at my week ahead. So let's grab this and put this over. So, petrol, 15 left, eating out, got one, oops, two, two fifteen, seventeen fifteen. I think that's all of it, but that's I overspent on, didn't I? Yeah, 2.15. So I've got 17.15 left for my savings challenges. So I've no pen coins, so I've got another pot of gold. Let's see if we can hit some of these. Um, what I might do, I've got 2.15 two there. I've got 2.15. So then should I put the rest into my Christmas savings? I do want to have a, a shifty around of that and say that forever. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do 215 into my So this week I've got 215 in change, which I can put into my penny saving challenge jar.
and then I've got 15 pounds which for now I'm just going to pop into here and I'm just about to do after this one I'm going to do a video over my savings challenges I've got some new savings challenges coming out and things so and my Christmas planner so I can have a look through all this as well so that is all of that done so let's see I've put 215 into there and then I'm just going to put annual savings I'm going to put another 15 in what we've gone with so I'm not budgeted for them I've just that's that's where we've gone so let's see then what I'm going to do this week in terms of what I'm going to budget for the week I, I already owe another 15 quid so I'm going to have to take 15 pound out of my um my, my overall month for groceries which is fine it really is fine that's okay let me see what i've got left then first of all so there's nothing in time for me groceries all right i've got lots of 20s so i'm going to change one of these 20s first of all for oops, a 10 and two fives if i've got it in my gifts one we'll just check out first of all should have, yeah, 10, 2,000 pounds. Oops, what am I doing? For well, 20, that's changed. So that's, that one. And then, so 15 is going to come out of my food. I can put this other five back in. And I'll pull that back into the bank. So then I'm just the wrong page. What have I got coming up? Oh, sorry, let me just check this first of all. So I've got yeah, more of that. Don't need anything out of there. Nothing in there. Nothing in there. Ah, I'm gonna come a bit short because I know what I've got coming up on Saturday. I'll just have a little look. A little bit. So we've got. I've got. I've got. It's like a light walk. Not like as in um, lighter than air. As in you go for a walk through lights at the local park, and it's free. It's set up for the council. It's free. I got tickets a while ago, but we had hoped to go. Now I can either try and do the brocket thing again, where people send me stuff for free. Um. Oh, I don't know what to do now. I have got a massive cash stuff coming. I've been saying this for a month. I haven't done an Etsy cash stuff for ages. And you guys have been absolutely incredible. Like, you bought the my Christmas planner, which is fantastic. You've been buying my ultimate planner, which is amazing. And honestly, I've just been so busy with the orders. I just haven't done a cash stuff. So all I can think is, I need to do a cash stuff ASAP. If I get to it tomorrow, I see what it's like Friday tomorrow. Because the weather's been so rubbish, I keep promising to take it to the library in town. If I do that, I can go to the bank and pull out enough money. Because it's just sat in the bank, and I pull out enough money to do my cash stuffing. I'll see. It's just raining now as I'm doing this, so it's like 10 o'clock tonight and <laughs> I'm doing this. Um, yeah. Basically, the only thing I'm able to stump is groceries because that's all the money I've got left. I've had a spendy week. I need some money over here as well to go to Olden Towers with. Ah, <laughs> money crisis. This is an actual crisis now. Overspend, not spend enough. Right, I'll figure it out. I will figure it out. I do not know how. I don't know why I've got a weird accent. I don't even know what accent that's supposed to be. I'll figure it out. Right. Well, groceries, it's 45 quid. And isn't that an exciting... This is why we're not doing any... This is why we're not doing a different video on cash stuff because it'd be pretty bloody boring, wouldn't it, to be fair? Right, let me just... All this money in there is this. I am not having it extra for anything else. Right, where am I? 45. Groceries. Which would leave 60 for the last week. That's fine. We can do that. We've done this before. I'm not too worried. Mm. 
yet. Come on, yeah, there you go. Right. So, wasn't that a riveting and exciting cash <laughs> job for me? The things we do. Right, that is me all done, set up for this week ahead. Okay, guys, so thank you very much. Uh, sorry this video is like about a week later than I wanted it to be uh, going out, but yeah, have yourself an amazing day, whatever you are doing, and I'll see you really soon. <laughs> Bye.